Sometimes the water is not clean enough, so we have to go fishing. So today I'm driving the boat. Current's so strong out here. I'm idling forward in the current, but we're actually going backwards by one knot. Ah, uh, there's a fish. Nice fish, right there. Yeah, uh, not a bus, but he's, uh, he's, a, he's the biggest dog around I've caught today. Oh, yes. Hey, back one in, back one in. Hey, come to Papa. Papa. I don't know. It's bigger than the other one, but I don't know how big. I'd say it's about six kilos. Fish, eh? Is that a red fish? Yeah. yeah. So far we got two fish, enough for supper. We're gonna try and get a few more for breakfast tomorrow. Need some for the staff. Yeah, and for the staff. This is put my money on a tagara. And a tagara. And a two tagara. Three tagara. Check the bottom one, it's the biggest one of the lot. That was drift number three, a little bit more successful. We're now close to our limit on the dogger rod fish. We're now going to go out a bit deeper and look for some uh, red stem brass. Another red fish. Hey, that's an awesome brown. Look at that. Where's the camera? Get Nice. So, he's got his sinker. Happy days. Nice. That's the line. See, I caught a fish at last, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's measure him. Five kilos. Yeah. Good one. Now I'll look for the camera. Hold him, Rob. Cool. Nice. A couple of nice fish out there. You guys are all ready to go down. So this is our launch site, it's on the wild coast here, in front of our cottage. Um, we haven't launched today, the sandbanks were quite bad in the shallows, we've been waiting for the tide to come up. It was quite a big swell this morning, but it's dropped off. We'll try and make a launch in the next hour or two, but the visibility still doesn't look good, so we might end up on uh, another fishing day instead of a diving day. We're down now at the beach and uh, it's a bit uh, easier to see the shape and size of the waves coming into this gully here and uh, this is where we launch right where the cows are typical wild African beach as you can see the local wildlife quite full up and they leave quite a, a lot of landmines on the beach you got to be careful where you walk and uh, they seem to love it on the beach I think they come into the water quite often and uh, I've seen them drink the water I assume it's the salt content that they need but uh, they stand around in the warm sun here and chew their cud and drop their remnants <laughs> we are now in the morning and it's uh, swells still up a bit but it's very low tide sandbanks everywhere still trying to decide which is the option uh, side to push in it's looking really shallow and the tide's still got another hour to go out. Well, we'll see.
visibility is still not great at all. So we're trying to catch a little bit of live bait and we'll take them out to the deep and see what we can get. You want to say that for the YouTube channel there, Brian, about the big set. So, I mean, here's Good your day. time. Here's your time. Good. Good. Sure. Oh, there's some big ones going in there. When the adrenaline calms down, we'll go back in. <laughs> How's my hair? No, there's a selfie camera there, right? Yeah, you can see it. Out in the deep here now, water is still not clean. So we're uh, just fishing again, it's like 80 meters depth, current not as bad as it was the other day, but so far not much fish. You had your luck the other day. You had your day the other day. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, that's a nice fish, eh? <laughs> that's it. 